in self-organizing networks, which is the initiative of Nokia Siemens networks for LTE-based uh, networks, we understand self-configuration, that is plug and play. What is the relationship of uh, optimization and healing in such uh, self-organizing networks is going to be interesting. Once a network has been initially configured, the network environment and the parameters could change. For example, the propagation conditions could change due to the appearance of certain um, impediments, obstructions, fading uh, sources, etc. The traffic behavior could change, for instance, from sporadic traffic to streaming traffic, and the deployment could also change. For instance, uh, certain newer deployments or uh, the disappearance of a certain deployment that was causing interference otherwise. So the previously configured parameters sometimes uh, do cause interference and suboptimality. Sub this needs to be addressed. The optimization is actually the reparameterization of the network elements based upon the measurements which are coming live. This is optimization. How do we compare it to healing? Healing is associated with faults because we know in complex large scale networks, faults are really common. Across several functional areas of a complex network, there are failures across network elements, across links. It could be a software failure, board failure, hardware failure, etc. Consider a radio access network that is uh, E node B, which is responsible to serve a certain uh, geographical proximity. If it fails, uh, if it has some redundancy, it might work with some degraded service, or if there is no redundancy, it might, it might stop altogether. So if it fails, it means these services have to be restored. Uh, the restoration process means ensuring a certain level of availability, some reliability mechanisms and ensuring that a certain QoS requirement and guarantees met. This is done through a systematic process of detection, isolation of the error, uh, having a failover or a, a fail safe link provisioning, and eventually um, recovering the failed component. Let's look at the self-optimization process uh, in more detail, what could be the scope of it? We know that uh, as mobility incorporates um, handovers, so these handovers uh, could sometimes fail, particularly uh, soft handovers, um, and some quality could degrade. So there is a requirement to have various mobility models uh, which do respond to uh, network conditions. Then, within a certain uh, proximity, if there are so many mobile users that somehow appear, that we also call as uh, uh, the flash floods or the flash crowd, uh, the load balancing has to be incorporated using forceful traffic steering. Um, sometimes the energy conservation is a requirement not only for the network element but uh, user element but also for the network element using some kind of power control uh, then uh, the capacity and coverage optimization is required uh, there is a concept known as cell breathing or cell flowering where uh, in order to provide certain quality of service the overall cell size is reduced sometimes the coverage has to be extended to certain uh, dead zones Last but not the least, the random, random access uh, channel optimization. Because we know that uh, there is a trade-off between having a deterministic uh, access of radio resources versus some kind of randomness to it. So once we are incorporating randomness, how much redundancy or how much waste of resources are we allowing? Likewise, in self-healing process, uh, we, we do monitor. However, are the Input monitoring functions provide uh, the parameters 
for healing. This healing starts with the diagnosis function and uh, the recovery activity to be initiated. The cell feeling of cell outage, for example, a base transceiver or E node B suddenly collapses. Uh, the network element software function failure, that is a certain software glitch, or a hardware fault, that is a board starts malfunctioning. Then uh, this has to be supported through continuous evaluation. And uh, uh, in case there's a requirement to uh, provide replacement of a certain hardware or software, then over the air programming for software and physical replacement of the board is required. For that, some kind of failover or fallback function has to be incorporated. Now, this all is done using some kind of re network reference model and the changes are made at the uh, integration reference points. Now, we are looking at self-healing process at a certain entity, at a network element, but uh, there is the integration reference point agent that implements the functionality depending upon the decision that is taking place at a slightly higher level, for instance, at the central control. And then we have the north bound, the integration uh, uh, interface uh, that allows the, uh, the north, uh, bound, north bound entity to implement the configuration or the reconfiguration at the southbound interface. The reference is again from uh, LTE self-organizing networks, network management automation for operational efficiency by Seppo Hemelenen, uh, who worked at Nokia. Uh, uh, and he was also responsible for the initiative of Nokia Siemens networks. 